to the group therapy. Um, why don't we get started by saying what happened, what new happened in our group? Kim, why are you so Well, last week I was diagnosed with ADD, or Adult Attention Deficit Disorder. Um, basically, I was given Adderall to take, and you know, it's been one week and starting the second week on it, and I can tell a difference with it, honestly, but at the same time, I still feel like I'm getting distracted just the same way as I was before. So, what do you think? You think the medicine's not working, or should give it more time? Well, you definitely need to give it more time. The medicine takes a while to start and kick in. But, um, and that sounds like a biological component to your personality. And with the medicine, it will help you ease everything at the time. Um, but I don't want it to, or the AD to hold you from pregnant the rest of your career. Um, keep going. Personal life, um, basically let's start with dating. Um, anytime I go out to a restaurant or just hanging out with a guy or whatever, you know, in public, it just seems like it's constantly um, eavesdropping on other people's conversations around me instead of paying attention to that guy. And it's not that he's not interesting or that he's boring, it's just, I guess, the people that are sitting around me, their conversations are, um, I guess, better to listen to than, than the one that he and I are having. Um, your, the difficulties you're having with your attention, as you know, come from the ADHD, um, and so it's contributing to the cognition as well, the cognitive problems. However, like I said before, the Adderall will kick in and give you these, um, and let that pretty much let your body adjust to it. If any of you have any comments? Well, Dr. Horney, I was teased as a child, so that has a little bit to do with it. You know, my ears, I wasn't comfortable with them. They stuck out a little too much, so they were pinned back during um, one of my procedures. But overall, it may have been my internal locus of control that led me to get all these surgeries because, you know, I want to put on the best space that I can for my fans, and I want to, you know, look the best that I can for them. Um, but overall, after, you know, the wrapping of the hills, I realized that all that I have going for me is my looks. So, you know, to get these surgeries, like, I just want to look the best that I can. But as far as my career goes, I'm trying to get into the music industry now. Oh, wonderful. Good for you. Maybe Lady Gaga can give me some steps. Well, I feel like as if with all these procedures that you're taking, maybe you can relate to my album. Because my album, my latest album, Born This Way, basically talks about how you should be happy with the self that you were born in and you shouldn't alter yourself in any type of way. And I think that um, you may need to become more familiar with the humanistic perspective from psychology, which is basically stating that um, you are in control of your personal belief and you should be free to display your identity in any type of aspect that you would want to rather than reacting to a certain environment just in mind. Like, you say that you're doing this for your fans, but I think your fans would be just as happy with yourself if you were actually identifying with your true self and not that this perceived person that looks a certain type of way. Because I get a lot of negative and positive feedback with my attire. Like, some days I wake up and I just let my edge take control and I do anything that I want to. So I thought like that it's never too late to harness your confidence and say that you were born this way. Well, Gaga, um, you mentioned a humanistic psych psychological perspective, and my boyfriend, Eric Fromm, he's a humanist psychologist, and he would definitely say that you've achieved self-actualization, so good for you. Um, what about you, Dexter? How are things going? Well, Doctor, as you know, I'm a blood splatter analyst for the Miami Metro Police Department, and I've been working on a case uh, of the ice truck killer, and he's a man who drains his victim's body's blood and cuts up the pieces and arranges them in different varieties of ways. And uh, what I found is, is that he is my, actually my biological brother. And my entire life, I've, uh, I've lived in darkness and my eyes have become adjusted to this darkness and it has become my world. But my brother has shined a light on myself and now I'm blind. He, uh, through, his, through leaving his body parts in different areas that are relevant to me, I have come to find out uh, that I repress memories of being locked in a crate and witnessing my mother's murder. And that for being left there for two days, it's caused major psychological harm to me. What do you think? Well, Dexter, um, if I could jump in for a second. It looks like from the neo-analytical perspective, 
you experienced um, a basic anxiety after being left alone for two days in the crate. And in order to deal with that, you adopted an aggressive style. And um, it also damaged your real self. And um, once your father adopted you, he helped you rebuild your, re your real self and he taught you strategies in order to help you cope with that aggressive style. It seems like you've internalized my philosophy, so that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, but Dexter, I would like to talk to you about Freud's psychoanalytic perspective. Um, basically, you, you, you've used a defense mechanism called repression. You've repressed these memories and by seeing your brother and going through all of that, you've been triggered and, and now I'm beginning to have some of these memories again. Um, also, being three at the time, you've become fixated at the anal stage. And this is the trauma caused by seeing your mother's murder and being left in the crate of blood for over two days has caused you to develop an anal super um, Thus, you need to control blood, which we perceive as waste. It's what gives you power. What do you think about that? Well, I've taken all y'all's input, and I, th I really think I can learn from it. Um, I can apply what y'all have said to my own life, and I really think it'll help me cope with uh, my desire to kill people. Dr. Murray, how was your week? Well, Dexter, it's been a really busy week. Um, as you all know, I've just moved here. It's been about six months since I've moved from Chicago to New York, and I'm already filled to the brim with patients. And a group of psychologist friends and I have started a new club. It's called the Zodiac Club. And, um, Traditional psychologists do not like us. They call us the renegades because we believe that social and cultural influences are just as important, or maybe even a little more important, than infantile sexual urges on personality development. So they don't like us at all. But I kind of like that they call us the renegades. Sometimes you have to fight back, you have to go against the group, especially as a woman. I mean, we have to overcome biological and cultural societal pressures to keep us in a subservient role, so. Anyway, Freud, huh, Freud. He thinks we women envy a little bit, a little tiny penis, but I can get that into my one. Just, you know, ask my boyfriend. I don't know, any of my other lovers, as a matter of fact. No, what we really want is all the power you guys have. Um, if you guys won't share, then we'll just have to take it. And to think, back in Germany, I thought that Freud's way was the only way. Wow, moving to the United States is really helpful. You know, Doc, Freud would say that all those men you've been seeing are just stand-ins for that penis envy thing you were talking about. From another perspective, Julian Rotter would say that you're, ex uh, you're exhibiting an internal locus of control. Basically, she believes that you have the power to change the things you want to change under your own control. Wow, well, both of you are probably right, but enough about me. All of you are making excellent progress. So if there's nothing anyone else would like to add. One call and wrap. See you monsters next week. Same time next week.